The Department of Biostatistics and Data Science is the home within the School of Medicine of biostatisticians and data science that help us meet the mission, both the education, research, and service missions of the School of Medicine and the institution as a whole. Uh, it houses almost 30 faculty members, almost 80 staff with graduate students, and we house, as of the fall, we'll have five graduate programs within the department. When I came here back in 1998 to build biostatistics within the Cancer Center, it kind of grew organically out of that. And then in around 2005, convinced administration within the institution that there was a need for a full department. So in 2006, I made a proposal to the Board of Regents. It was approved. So in 2007, the department was officially formed. Well, it's to be the home of all of basically biostatistics and related fields, faculty and staff in those fields, to provide the research, education, and service infrastructure to meet the mission of the University of Kansas Medical Center. So as a base, we could combine everybody, bring them together, better serve the missions, and provide that resource to investigators to collaborate with, provide methodological, our own research, to train graduates in our areas, and then to do service to the community related to our areas. I, I think biostatistics and data science is the backbone of research. Every researcher has a research question. They come up with an idea and they want to know, can I show that, does this drug work better than this drug, or would this behavioral intervention help people stop smoking, whatever the question may be. Well, we work with them to design the study so that they can answer that question by knowing what type of data needs to be collected, how, when it needs to be collected, so that we analyze it the appropriate way to be able, be able to answer that question. The projects that we work on in our department have helped us because it makes us better methodological statisticians. And as we've become better methodological statisticians, we've been able to better collaborate with other medical researchers in our university as well as across the country and the world. And so doing those activities has really helped us become better at collaborative research and our own methodological research. Areas that excite me uh, involve the design, implementation, and the publication of Bayesian adaptive clinical trials applied to several different medical areas, including neuropathy, severe traumatic brain injury, breast cancer prevention, tobacco cessation, and weight loss, to name a few. I really enjoy working on developing the methodology for that and working with other faculty members in our department and students uh, to improve those technologies and methodologies. One example of a clinical trial that has helped inform statistics is the utilization of a Bayesian hierarchical Emacs model, which is being utilized in the Hobbit trial, which investigates the impact, the potential impact of oxygen treatment on severe traumatic brain injury. The statistical field has seen a big growth in Bayesian adaptive designs, and in particular, their application to clinical trials generally. And we've responded to that by developing our own Bayesian adaptive designs methodology and applying them ourselves within our department. I started the department fresh out of graduate school. I went through my PhD program in a traditional statistics program. I was fortunate that uh, Dr. Mayo, our chair, was my mentor early on and allowed me to sit in on collaborative meetings, mentored me through like how to design studies, things that I hadn't really done as a statistics PhD student. So when I first started as uh, assistant director of graduate programs, I already had a really strong familiarity with the curriculum because I developed it with, with our curriculum development team and went through the process of getting that approved through our Kansas State Board of Regents process. Becoming program director was different though because then it was more you're the point person for the students. So then the student aspect for me the mentoring and advising became more prominent and the curriculum less so. The, so the types of projects that I get most excited about are these medical student projects, which are increasing in frequency and what we've determined is probably optimal to partner the medical student with one of our biostatistics students and then they already function, they do team science, right, as training, so they can see it happen early on through sitting in our collaborative meetings that we have with physician investigators and then they can 
kind of reproduce that and practice that in these projects with medical students. The future looks like we're going to be more expanding. You know, you've got AI, you've got machine learning, you've got all these different areas that are coming about. And so the future is going to be staying up to speed on these different methods and also evaluating those methods. Where the vision is going is as we are gaining more and more technological advancements in handling and gathering data and analyzing data is to be able to continue to support the institution and the researchers and also educate the next generation of researchers in biostatistics and data science so that they can utilize those techniques to help researchers, which eventually then helps the patient and helps the health of the public and the population.